Good morning, everybody. Everybody out there with the new Insta360 link cam, like this one that I'm talking about, the number two. That's what I'm playing right, or that's what I have right now set up with my uh, with my streaming setup. Uh, as you can see, I got tracking on. So that's that's a really nice feature there. Okay, so I ran into one issue here. I do a lot of live streaming every week on Thursdays nights at 7 p.m. And the one issue that I found with the link too is not the camera itself and not the features itself is with the audio. I ran a, I run a setup with OBS, the Discord, and that's it. Okay. So those are only two main things I use because my, my friends join in Discord and I feed Discord into my OBS setup so we can talk and chat and everything. And then I have all the audio running to the speaker of this Yeti microphone where I can hear myself and listen to everybody else that's in the chat. At the same time, I always disconnect or disable the microphone that's in the, the webcam because I do not I do not talk that like that. I need to use my my big microphone here. And so and I disable any other microphones because I don't want the system to get confused of which which uh, microphone I'm using. So with that said, using the link to camera with OBS and with Discord, I found an issue that was just plaguing me since the day I got this camera, like the last few days, since Tuesday or so. The issue I found is that, you know, you have to, when you buy the camera and you set it up on your computer, you have to download and install the link controller so you can use the features, the tracking, the, the picture adjustments, um, blur, whatever else the, the application has, which I don't have turned on right now, and I'll get to that later. Everything that, that has, that application has everything for you, for you to control the camera the way you want to use it, okay? The issue I found when running these three things, OBS, Discord, and um, the link controller application, is that once I fire up, once those three applications are running at the same time, there is this audio issue where OBS keeps switching or keeps keeps getting jacked up with the audio. Like I can, people can hear me, but I can't hear them, but I hear this clicking and popping sound as if the system is switching to another audio source on its own. At the same time, I have everything specified to a, a certain source. So I never had that happen before. I've been running with the system for like two, over two years now and never had that issue where I just kept switching over because I have specific devices that I talk to talk into and listen through. So with that said, once I fire up the link control application, that is when the problems happen, right? It's not when I have OBS and Discord open. It is when I have the link controller open and somehow that's causing a huge issue with the audio where OBS it just doesn't know what to do and it keeps switching. I keep losing audio with, with people I'm trying to listen to. And then it gets annoying with the whole clicking sound. So after some tr troubleshooting last night, because I was having a show last night, I finally it it dawned on me. It's like, okay, let me try. Let me open up these applications in order. So I opened up OBS, and OBS was working just fine. And then I opened up uh, Discord, just like I have here. Joined my channel, my voice chat, and it worked just fine. Nothing was happening. I still have the tracking. I still have the tracking and everything. Everything still work. I just can't right now. I just can't blur my my background. But once I opened up the link control application, then all of a sudden all the audio starts going all the whack, right? Like I, like I, like I mentioned earlier, it just doesn't doesn't work properly. And so just by dumb luck, I mean that's what I did. It's like open up one at a time and see if if anything worked, and it did. So if anybody else is having the same issue as I did where you're having these uh, OBS clicking and, and source changes on its own, or it seems like a source change, maybe nothing's really changing, it just doesn't know what to do. Do not open the link controller during a OBS live stream session because you're gonna have the same issues as I am. Now, is this happening for everybody? I have no idea. Maybe it's just me. But if this is what you're running into, where this audio switching, audio clicking, uh, of OBS is happening, it's possibly because the link controller is getting in the way. And so once you're doing your initial setup, you don't need to have the controller open for it to track you. You probably do need it open 
so we can do the blurs and all the other features that you need but right now for me that's not important right now the important is to get the camera working looking at me and tracking me while i move around all right guys so if you have any questions if you have any have the same issues put it down in the comments and say hey man i got the same issue too put it down in the comment section and let's talk about it and let's see if we can find an answer or hopefully insta 360 will put a firmware update out there and uh make this make this issue stop all right guys talk to you guys later bye